Uh, today what we're going to try and do is do a complete model all the way through causal loop diagrams to stock and flow diagrams to Excel model to study a vicious cycle. So we did bank interest before which is a positive reinforcing cycle. Today we're going to do a vicious cycle and the case is really of a team and it's a team that has kind of let's say a normal attrition rate so people are leaving the team in a normal like low rate of attrition. There's no hiring in this particular case so the team kind of uh, dwindles down gradually but what happens is because the workload stays the same as the team gets smaller the workload per person gets higher and it causes even more attrition so in this case it's more of a vicious cycle because it started with a normal attrition but as the gap in the team size gets larger and larger and the workload gets more and more for each of the remaining people it's more incentive for the remaining people to quit. So the attrition rate goes up and the team kind of crashes and, and burns. So that's a good example of a vicious cycle, which you've probably seen in your, uh, in your career. So let's, uh, let's diagram this out. So starting with the causal loop diagram, so we're going to start with the, um, let's say the team size. So let's imagine you have like a 100-person team or something uh, like that. And there's a... Um, balancing loop that uh, in a normal team some people quit. So team members leaving. Um, and an increase in team size, let's say the bigger the team, the more people uh, quit. So this is a positive loop. And to figure out how many people quit, you've kind of had this normal attrition rate. Okay? So team size times the attrition rate is the number of people that quit. And quitting decreases the team size. So as you go around the loop, this is a balancing loop because uh, increase in team size causes a decrease in the team size in a sense. It balances balances out a little bit. Okay, so that's kind of the normal uh, scenario. But to make this kind of a vicious uh, cycle, um, you need a reinforcing loop, something that kind of spins out of control. So what happens is you have a team size, and let's say there's an ideal team size. And the two of these combine together to form a gap. Okay, so the ideal team size might be 110. You've got 100 people. As the team goes down to 95 and 90 and 80 and 70, the gap gets larger because the ideal stays the, the same. And the, the bigger the gap, the higher the attrition rate. Okay? which causes even more people to quit and causes the gap to be even larger, which causes even a larger attrition rate. So you can see this is a reinforcing death spiral. Okay? So this is the system we're going to, uh, we're going to model. Uh, behavior over time graph, we'll see these in the end as an output of the model in Excel, but it's usually good to take a guess. So as, as, um, if you recall, behavior over time, you've got time on the x-axis, you have key variables here, so we'll do the the one variable is team size. Let's say we stay, start at 100 people. We're actually going to do two scenarios. One where the attrition rate stays fixed, so you don't have this vicious cycle. And um, we'll see that the team size you know, goes down in a nice gradual fashion. Uh, it actually slows down because the less people on the team multiply by an attrition rate of 10%, let's say, the less people quit because there's not that many people left. Um, and then the vicious cycle, we should see a more kind of rapid crashing. Uh, and, um, uh, and we'll see so something, I don't know, on the order of a, a more of a rapid crashing. So we'll take a look to see if that's what the model really tells us. Okay, now we'll turn into stock and flow, a stock and flow diagram. And uh, basically with a stock and flow diagram, one of these has to be stock. So something you can count, something that like a number of products or dollar amount in a bank or those sorts of things. So when you look at it, the, um, the, the stock is, and the stocks are usually the main topic. So the main topic is the, the team itself. So we'll have that be our stock. So that's like the number of employees on the team. There's no, nothing adds to the number of employees, so we're not hiring in this case. Uh, but people are leaving, so there's a flow out of the number of employees. And this is the quitting. 
So quitting is the flow that decreases the team size. And to calculate quitting, the number of people quitting is really this attrition rate. Uh, multiplied by the team size itself. So that's, that's the basic core balancing loop. And then to do this loop, it's pretty straightforward. You've got an ideal team size. You have a gap, which is the ideal team size minus the team size. And that gap drives the attrition rate. So attrition rate is not fixed. It's driven by the gap. And um, this is it for the stock and flow diagram. And now we can turn uh, to Excel to actually model, model this out. And then we'll come back to the, to the board for some of the trickier issues. All right? OK, now we're going to build the model in Excel. And what I like to do is paste a picture of the model uh, in there. It helps me uh, build it. And what we're going to do, we'll do this in two, uh, two short phases. The first phase will be to just build the stock, the flow, what's in the circle basically. And then attrition rate we're going to assume is fixed. So we're not going to do the complexity of the gap causing a larger attrition rate, the death spiral yet. So we'll do the first phase first, get the model basically running, and then add the complexity uh, second. Okay, so we start with constants. So for this version we're going to assume attrition rate is a constant. So let's assume that's 10%. And then remember to name your constants up in this range box. That makes um, cutting and pasting easier. Okay, so we just have the one constant. Now the rest is the, um, the time-based part of the model. So let's do this in quarters. We start with quarter zero. And what we do in quarter zero is we just define any stocks. So team size is your stock. Beginning team size. Let's assume it's 100. Then leave a row f or two for flows. We'll leave one row. Ending team size, and in quarter, in time zero, it's 100 as well. Okay, now let's build the, the, mo the model stuff. Okay, so quarters is last quarter plus one. Beginning team size is the ending team size from the prior quarter. Now we have one flow, quitting. And quitting is calculated as the beginning team size times the attrition rate, which is an annual rate, so I'm going to divide by four. So two and a half people quit that first quarter, and so the ending team size will be the beginning minus the quitting. So you get 97 and a half people left. So essentially that's it for this version of the model. So let's cut this out to let's say 50 time units, which I think of as two alphabets in Excel. So I try and go out to A Z, paste that. And then let's graph our key variable, which would be usually the stock. So we'll do ending team size. We'll do charts. We'll do, uh, where's line? Line, that first one. And that's it. So let's take a look at that. Make it a little bit bigger. So what you see is we start at 100. And we kind of gradually um, go down to zero. And uh, you can see the rate slows down a little bit, essentially because you're taking 10% of an increasingly smaller number. And you can also see that on row 5. Two and a half people quit, and then it becomes a smaller number. So that's what, um, that's what it would look like if you didn't hire anybody uh, on a team with a fixed attrition rate. So um, before I go back to make the model complex now with the gap driving the attrition rate, it's a little bit complicated. So I'm going to go to the board and explain how we... Um, how we think of that connection, and then I'll come back to the sheet and make it uh, make it a little bit more complicated. Okay. Great. So a uh, slight change in plans. Uh, I noticed that my yapping in the beginning plus my work on Excel has taken nine minutes, and I like a ten minute limit on these videos. So what I'd like to do is cl close with a simplified model. So we got the quitting, attrition rate, team size as part of the model. I've shown you how to do that in Excel. I'm going to pause the video now, basically. And I'd like you to build that in your own Excel. So um, you can email me if you'd like um, and uh, ask me for the PowerPoint if you want to put, that, put in that uh, image. But otherwise, put that in Excel as kind of the starter model. And then I'll post a video in about a week that um, will enhance it to show the death spiral associated with the larger and larger gap. Okay, I'll talk to you soon.